Hello, welcome to Switched On Gaming. Paul speaking. Welcome to continued coverage of Euro 2020 on EPES Football 2020 on the PC. We're at the quarterfinal stage after a few days break. That massive England Germany game. Didn't play too well again. Quite dull that, that possession game that Southgate likes to play. Not the most exciting, but the result was excellent. Of course, 2 0 against Germany. First time England have beaten Germany in a competition since 1966, of course. So, quarterfinals kick off today at uh, 5 o'clock. Sorry, St. Petersburg is the venue for Switzerland against Spain. Switzerland have done so well to reach this stage and they've looked mighty impressive doing it. And I will be taking the role of the Swiss, seeing if I can cause it an upset. There's Jadan Shakiri, who has had a great tournament. Xhaka, likewise. Arsenal fans must be wondering who this player is because it's not the one they're seeing. The ball in for Brian Bolo. Clear the way, Fruella. It's well played and again. And Bolo, it's a good ball. It's a good spot to see him Bolo pulling off the defender. But Simon, who had that absolute clangor against Croatia. Safe hands this time in the Spain goal. Good start for Spain so far. That's, uh, Switzerland, that's given away to Morata. He doesn't have the best one, but he's still weighed in with a couple of goals. Oh, I thought it was a good tackle. Any tackle from behind is getting punished. What is that referee's hair doing? Has <laughs> that referee got a man bun? Hmm, I don't think it's a man bun or a glitch. So, free kick to Spain. Koke over it, delivers away of course to Pedri this exciting young Spanish talent Rodri he loses it Seferovic who's had an excellent tournament couldn't release Mbolo he got crowded out but it does work back well and it's worked away nicely by Switzerland here's Vidmar Goes out of play. Oh, it's a nice play from the Swiss. Seferovic. Left foot delivers for Mbolo. It's a challenge. It looks like Switzerland have made a note of how Croatia nearly had a tremendous comeback in their second round game by delivering balls into the box. The Spanish defence just cannot deal with the balls into the box this is a good run from Koke oh it is a great run Spain take the lead brilliant from Koke that's a lovely touch by the way on the uh, on Jan Sommer's face there, blades of grass. That's really cool. I've not noticed that before. Lovely little detail. Such a shame that uh, EA and Konami can't join forces and make one brilliant football game because FIFA and Evolution, they're both good. Both have their faults. But combined would be quite something quite special. Nivedi out to Zuba, who's been absolutely superb as well. Bolo running the channels and we'll keep it in oh it delivers well and it's flashed right across the goal from Brian Bolo Seferovic was just offside and as we approach half time any second now it's Spain that have the lead it's been fairly even. You could argue Swiss have had slightly more territorial possession. But it's Spain that go in a goal to the good. 
Koke's excellent individual run. Showed great strength and then a tremendous finish. Switzerland are up against it. Shakiri. For Seferovic. Does well. Here's Freuler. Seferovic in the middle. It's delivered. Mbolo! Good effort. And well defended this time in the air by the Spanish. This, of course, for a place in the semi finals. Winners of this will play Italy or Belgium, which is the uh, second game today. What a semi final that could be. Oh, it's well won. Here's Freyla and Bolo. He's got to be strong. He is strong. It's Mbolo. Goes for the chip. Oh, what is he doing? Three Mbolo. Went for the spectacular when he was pretty much clean through. What a chance for Swiss. Are they going to get another? Marcos Lorente goes round. Good chance. Oh, it was an open goal almost. And Morata has another one of those Morata moments. Good work here from Spain. Keeper gone wonder about a Maratta. Oh dear. As I say, he's not had the best tournament, but he's still managing to get on the goals. It's a good ball. Here's Freuler. He's encouraging Vidma to get forward. Seferovic running the channels. Oh, he hooks a good ball in and Simon underneath it. Switzerland are running out of time. Oh, and Zuba sold himself. It's a good ball. Oh, and just lashed away by Switzerland. They really got to be careful here. Lorente, good hit. Charged down by Shakiri. Another good hit, deflected. For another corner. Shakiri will make way. Mehmedi, it is going to be a corner. Came off. Oh. I thought it was Rodriguez, but I don't think it was actually. So Mehmedi on for Shakiri. Time really running out for Switzerland. That is a loose corner. It isn't Bolo. He's got a long way to go, but he's got support from Mehmedi. Bolo's making his way forward. He's got Seferovic up there as well. Mehmedi through. Oh, he's looking for Mbolo. Mbolo may still get there. Suicidal defending from Spain. But they hold on long enough to earn a place in the semi-finals. Well, they've done so well this tournament. Battled when they needed to in the early stages of the groups. When they couldn't get it together. And then sparked by that huge win in the last group game. And now they are in the semi-finals. Well done, Spain. Switzerland, plucky effort. Had their chances. That best chance was uh, Brian Bolo. He decided to chip instead of putting his foot through it. So, no goals for Swiss. This is Coco's goal. Brilliant run. And a great finish. So, there we go. Second game at 8 o'clock tonight. This one from the Allianz Arena in Germany, and it will be Italy against Belgium. Allianz Arena. I have no idea what's falling from the sky. I sincerely hope that's not snow, <laughs> because it's a freak snowstorm. If it is, thankfully it wasn't snow. Hopefully it was just ticker tape. But here we are, it's Italy, Belgium. Italy, probably the most impressive side of Euro 2020. They've looked consistently good from the groups all the way through and I do think it's going to be an England-Italy final and then it's anybody's but uh, I think Italy have really looked like a side I think it's actually rain falling early ball in dealt with by Thibaut Courtois
freak conditions, this rain and how. That's well played. Italy happy just to play football. This is nice. This is Barella. Oh, he gets it in for a mobile eight. And Belgium panic it away. Chiellini has made a miraculous comeback from injury. There's a good run. Insigne and that's a foul. Confident start from Italy as you'd expect. As you'd expect. Taken quickly for Spinaziola. Charged down. Belgium calm it down. Deny out to Aldevalda. And away. This should be a great game tonight. I am really looking forward to this. Eight o'clock kickoff, as I say. Not many games left now, so make the most of them. Di Lorenzo looks for a mobile. He's got no support. Oh, it nearly dropped for Insigne. Oh, good ball. Berardi. Oh, he's well marshalled by Ian Vertonghen. Lukaku. Getting involved for the first time. Some space here for Berardi. He's got the run. Uses him by not using him. And the shot is deflected into the arms of Courtois. Nice take. Hazard is Lukaku squeezes it through to Mounier he's got time he's gone past one Thomas Mounier oh it's off the post and tucked in from Lukaku Belgium take the lead on the stroke of half time good work in the build up from Lukaku fed it out to Mounier who kept his calm and his shot come off the post Lukaku is on hand to tuck it away. His Mounier gets it out from under his feet. Italy can't close him down. VAR check on offside for Lukaku is complete. They're happy with it. It's 1 0. As we go into the dressing room. Italy need something. In this second half, there's Lukaku again, is such a danger man when he's in these wide areas using his strength. And again, he holds off the defender. That's a way for Locatelli. It's well played. Insigne to immobile. He's got Berardi making a run. Can't find him. Up through the lines and again, as soon as it goes in to Lukaku. Belgium are away. Italy need to get Insigne on the ball. That's nice. Spinaziola. Few in the box for Italy. Shot. Is charged down by Courtois. Italy's best chance. Again, Belgium happy to get it up to Lukaku as soon as possible and build from now. It's a very English tactic, as you'd expect. From Roberto Martinez, who spent so many years in the Premier League. A little flick from Insigne doesn't come off. Time is running out for Italy. 15 minutes to go. Here's Lukaku. Oh, and they were in there. That overload on the right-hand side, but offside. And it's harsh because uh, yeah, stepped aside and actually left it. Spinaziola is insignia. They really need to get Immobile in. They've got him in. Immobile. Oh, that's a good save. to get it in Spinaziola 
Oh, it takes too long. And is that the chance that Italy needed? And it's gone begging. Carrasco. That's well in Bonucci, but it will just eat up time on the clock. Change for Belgium. Axel Witzel on for Thomas Mounier. And taking their time about this. Come on, Belgium, get off. Five minutes to go. Carrasco, Barella charges him down. He's played forward, but Immobile can't get there. And time is ticking. It's going to be Belgium in the semi-finals against Spain. They held on. Italy, who looked so good, couldn't create enough chances. And that's probably the last we'll see of Bonucci in an Italian shirt. Chiellini as well. Well, there we go. I expect a, a better game tonight at 8 o'clock. Enjoy that one. Enjoy both these games later. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thumbs up if you did. We've got our virtual semi-final. Spain against Belgium. That'd be quite nice, wouldn't it? But any of these teams now in the semis are going to be good. Looking forward to that. So there you go. Thanks for watching. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow with England, of course, in the evening. And uh, see if they can reach the Euro semis. But until then, I will see you all again soon. Bye-bye.